Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my New York City apartment tour. This one is going to be a bit more about where I got everything, how I furnished it, because I know you guys are curious cats. And it took me six months to really pin down everything that I wanted and how I wanted it to look for even such a tiny apartment. So any way I can share the love, I'm happy to oblige if you guys are stuck for you know refreshing your apartment or maybe you just got a new apartment and you uh, want to kind of do something similar if you want to see the full layout of this apartment and all of the other amenities that happen to be in this building you can check out the original apartment tour video it's the video before this one i'll link it in the description below but this video is just covering where we got all of our like statement pieces um our decor finishings and just anything that stands out a little bit yeah, I'm here to help you guys out. So let's get started. Popping up nice and early, the most bland part of the apartment, which is the kitchen. Really nothing much going on here. I do have a nice little setup here though, with just some flowers and some nice little utensil-y type setups. A lot of this is not functional other than the um, utensils, but I just wanted something that was kind of pretty for the kitchen that sort of separated our living space a little bit. If New York has taught me anything, it's how to be a minimalist when it comes to kitchen appliances. So we don't have things like toasters, things that just aren't a necessity, but we did upgrade to a kettle this year and our microwave is in the overhead storage for anyone wondering. And all of our bits and bobs are just affordable things from H&M Home, they've got a great decor section, Ikea, and it just adds a scanty touch to our kitchen, which I love. Our apartment is definitely a big mixture of um, steals that we got from Craigslist and like secondhand thrifted stuff uh, that we got for super cheap plus a little bit of like more statement pieces that we invested in a little bit more. I love this little nook, it has some coffee table books, it has um, this gorgeous industrial light which actually came from my last apartment, it's from an Etsy seller, I used a lot of um, Etsy sellers in my last apartment just because I found them just as cheap as Ikea and a lot more unique. Luckily, it happens to match a lot of the industrial features of this apartment anyway. There's lots of exposed piping, lots of um, concrete features that I'm really happy that whoever designed this building kind of left in because I think it adds a lot of character, a lot of um, markings and pencils and mathematic sums and spray paint and I love it. I just love that all of those details were left in. Obviously anything that's still available I will link below but I absolutely love this lamp. It has a big sort of Edison bulb in it which I think is so cool. Nesting tables were a complete steal. Got those on Craigslist for $30. They're originally like over a hundred dollars from ikea so pretty happy with those also because it's such a small apartment and we like to have people over these always double as like extra seating which is good or sometimes we take them out into the balcony as well so these are great fit in there just perfect onto the rest of the living area as i mentioned in the original apartment tour really wanted to create a space that was very unisex very warm and cozy but still have like design elements that I really enjoyed so this kind of touches of mid-century modern but with a little bit of our own personality mixed with just sort of cozy home vibes which is something I really wanted I really wanted like a little bit of heat going on in here love the earthy natural fibers of a good jute rug they look really good but they're kind of a pain they um, let out like a lot of dust and dirt because if they are made from like natural fibers and they're always breaking down but I love that the look that they add to this apartment. I think a rug always adds a good like cozy vibe and on top of that we have our beautiful coffee table which was such good value. I know probably a lot of you guys have seen this online but it just adds that really nice mid-century touch without kind of spending too much money. I think the coffee table was from Overstock and the rug was from Wayfair, I believe. Pretty sure they're both still in stock, so I will link them again down below if I can find them. I really love that like soft oval shape of the coffee table, so I think the roundy tray works well. And we got some lovely eucalyptus, which I think always looks good and it's really low maintenance instead of flowers. You get beautiful, warm, sunset light and I absolutely love it. It really illuminates all of our artwork. And of course, one of the main centerpieces of our apartment, our couch, which I'm so happy with. This is one of the things that we invested in quite a bit. It's probably like the most expensive thing we bought for our apartment, but I think it was well worth it. I really wanted to bring some color into this apartment. We are delighted with our couch that we ordered from Article Online. It's the 72 inch Sven Sofa in Cascadia Blue and I know in the UK Made.com does a very similar couch. Also our couch just happens to fit perfectly into 
this little step in our wall, which was like so satisfying. So yeah, I think in the end, I really love how it all came together. It's very cozy. The couch is big enough for, you know, both me and my partner to just chill. A little nook, which I love. This was originally black, like a lot of the door frames and it was just like too heavy so we just made it a little bit brighter this little reclaimed chair that actually came from my old building boyfriend was adamant that we rescued it so that's what we did and yeah i love this little spot it's kind of like where we put on our shoes and um, you know it's always nice to have a little bit of extra seating we've got our fiddle leaf fig which you know it's a work in progress. I have become a huge fan of plot pot stands, but I still wanted something that looked really modern. And I found this beauty on Amazon. It's kind of a black iron with a pale mint speckled green pot. And I think it's a beautiful house for our fiddly fig. Come on in. The bathroom came with all of these like super strong features already, like these patterned tiles. So we didn't really feel like we had to add or do too much to this bathroom. This basically houses all of our crap. This little one is Kaha's, this one is mine with all of my hair tools and products. Um, and basically unsightly stuff and accessories are all pretty new additions. Again, Amazon coming to the rescue. Um, but we really needed a spot to put our towels. So I got this little towel wrap. That fits in really nicely. Towels are from Amazon. Um, a bunch of my favorite beauty products in the bag. I'm not a big bath taker, but I'm trying to get into it. So um, this was also an Amazon purchase and some bath sauce. So yeah, I'm hoping this will be like a nice relaxing spot to hopefully keep me in the bath longer with a book or something like that. I Turn this hallway into a multi-use space. We got some old furniture from our old apartment. My favorite part of the apartment though, our bedroom. Ah, welcome to our intimate space, I suppose you could say. Being kind of a fashion blogger, I tend to have a lot of stuff, so it's all contained within these walls. This is my baby. This makes me so happy. Again, it's something that we saved a bunch of money on. We thrifted it. I think I got it on Craigslist. I was looking, this is a Ikea wardrobe originally. It's their three door packs wardrobe. But if I had bought it new, it would have been around a thousand dollars with everything that it came with inside of it. But on Craigslist, I got it for a hundred dollars. Oh, like literally bargain of the year. Maybe spent another hundred on renting a van to get it to her apartment. And of course you never get the blood, sweat and tears of reassembling Ikea furniture back, but it was so worth it to save that much money. Clothes, my sweaters, my jeans, and my shoes at the bottom. And over in this corner, I have coats, handbags, um, jewelry, perfumes. I love all of these slidey little drawers and gym gear, underwear, tote bags, all of that good stuff. This was an Amazon buy. Again, Amazon coming to the rescue for the last minute furniture bits, but we love this light uh, in this apartment. <laughs> Another New York quirk is that it doesn't have a ceiling light in the bedroom, which tends to happen a lot in New York apartments. And yeah, we had to get a floor lamp to get a lot more light into the space. And this is great. Um, I think it was under $100, came with Edison bulbs, Looks fantastic, bounces off so much light in this room because it has a three bulb. Obsessed with the main feature of our bedroom, this gorgeous bedspread, which is actually made by an artist designer. She is just gorgeous. I think it's called Kudre Home, if I pronounced it correctly. But because this is such a kind of quiet space, there isn't a lot of artwork or a lot of fuss and everything in here, again, is so statement with the exposed details. I kind of wanted to bring the art in anywhere I could. So something like this bedspread is so gorgeous, so textural, and it's definitely an investment piece. It was very expensive, but it's something I plan to take with me. I'm a textile fashion artist maker myself, and I really appreciate other people's work. Yeah, I just have my lamp that also came from the last apartment, which is kind of a concrete Etsy lamp, some diptyque candles, my CBD oil, very essential. I take that before bed if I'm a little bit stressed out or if I want to sleep well. Cry and enjoy some more plants that I managed to keep alive. Everything is pretty much local except for the macrame basket holders which are gorgeous. I think these were from Amazon as well. So if I can find them I will link them below. My fern is not looking so good. I left it in the hands of my boyfriend while I left for a week but it's fine. Ferns are easily replaceable like men. 
<sighs> mattress shopping can be a mess, but I've had a really good relationship with Lisa Mattress, which are a company that kind of deliver your mattress in a box. It's so convenient. You can order it online. They're available in the UK, US, and a couple of other countries. But my life has been changed since I switched to memory foam mattresses. And I tried the original Lisa mattress in my previous apartment. But in this apartment, we upgraded to a California king size bed, which I was very set on. My boyfriend was moving in and your girl just needed her space. So in this bed, I feel like we literally almost have our own bed each. There's so much space. We actually got a different model of mattress from Lisa this time, and it's the Sapira mattress. And oh my God, it is the greatest gift of all time. This is a hybrid between a memory foam mattress and a spring mattress. So personally, I think it's much better for couples and it's a little bit cooler feeling. It's one of those things you never want to spend money on, but honestly, it is life-changing getting an amazing night's sleep every single night in the most perfect bed. Even if one of us gets out, it doesn't disrupt the other person sleeping. It's so good. So we love that. Oh, how can I forget? We also have a bunch of this like under bed storage for all of our overflow stuff. So one has towels and sheets, a perk of having a platform bed. This was a super simple platform frame from Amazon, which was again like $100, so cheap and perfect for our mattress. Hope that gave you a bit more insight onto the finer details of my apartment. It's taken me six months to get to a spot where I'm happy with this place. There's still things I would love to add and update you guys on, but it would mean a lot to me if you let me know in the comments below like what piece stood out to you and what pieces kind of like made you excited. If you haven't already watched it, don't forget to check out the original apartment tour where I go through more so the layout and the rest of our building. Hit that big red button and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.